long-term equity investments. Just a few words on business combinations. I just want to give you an overview of how businesses can acquire one another. There's basically two ways to acquire control of another business. You can buy the assets of the business. In other words, all the company's assets are acquired directly from the other company and you basically acquire the books and you only have one set of books after the fact. The good thing about this is it allows you to write up your assets to the, the fair market value. I should say you can write up the acquired assets to their fair market value at the time of the acquisition because you're buying the assets so they get a step up in basis. You may or may not want that. We'll talk about the advantages and the disadvantages in a second. The second way you can acquire a control of a business is to buy its stock. So when you hear of hostile takeovers or one company going into the marketplace and buying up the stock of another company, that's what they're trying to do. Um, so they acquire that 50% controlling interest by buying the voting common stock of another business. In this case, two sets of books remain and the investment in the subsidiary, the one that's been acquired uh, and owned, controlled by more than 50% by another company, um, uses uh, the equity method and the subsidiary stays independent and then at the end of the year you will um, consolidate. So under the asset acquisition, the purchase method, um, again, you're buying all the assets of the, of the business, uh, less any liabilities assumed. They get stepped up to their fair market value, and that includes both tangible and intangible. And you create goodwill if you pay more than the fair market value of the underlying assets. The trouble is, is when you take a step up in basis, you, the uh, transaction is taxable. So um, the company that's basically selling their assets, since they have the means to pay taxes, will be taxed on um, selling their assets. Any costs of ac the acquisition are expensed in the year of acquisition. And a single entity um, res results, and you don't need to consolidate because it's one business. Uh, one business has bought the assets of the other business. When we look at stock acquisition, though, it's a little bit different because each company continues to be a separate legal entity. There is no step up in basis because one company just owns the stock of another company. And then at year end, uh, we consolidate the two together and you have a consolidated financial. Now you can also have a merger or a business combination where you have two or more companies combining to form a single legal entity. But this is way beyond the scope of this class. So what I would like you to realize is you can acquire assets or you can acquire the stock of another business. Now when you talk about legal forms of business combinations, uh, and there is, uh, you could take a whole semester course on this, on all the different ways. You can take two companies and create a new company, so A plus B equals C Corp, or you can have a statutory merger where A plus B Corp um, all fold in together and they result in just the A Corp uh, remaining after the merger. 
And the other thing that I want you to be aware of is special purpose entities. These gained um, prominence of ill repute a few years ago uh, because what it did is it allowed um, businesses to, to spin off uh, certain activities, transactions, um, assets into things called special purpose entities or special purpose vehicles. By doing that, they allowed um, investment to happen uh, in the SPE, but the liabilities no longer resided with um, the sponsoring or the uh, original company. So there was the question of whether there was still control over your SPE or not. And if there was control, you should consolidate your SPEs into your business, even though you spun them off. And if you've given up control, then you, there's no reason to consolidate, and that's another way to push assets and uh, liabilities off your balance sheet into these special vehicles.